Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about Rudy's most recent video, which honestly resembles a pump and dump. And essentially it's the classic scenario that I have always warned you against. Uh, the classic scenario being that Rudy sold, uh, he sold a bunch of his patrons a dream. And it, honestly, it's just a dream. It never was going to be real. It's the same idea of selling them Hasbro stock so he can take it over. That is itself also a dream. So that's not real, guys. Um, that's not how a buyout works. I took a class in law school. Yes, actual law school called Merges and Acquisitions. And any lawyer, and again, not a pretend online lawyer, a real lawyer, will be able to tell you that uh, the last thing you would do in a hosp hostile takeover is make a YouTube video saying that you're going to do a hostile takeover. Uh, most times it's done very secretly lately. And, and, but anyway, enough about that. Um, this is exactly the scenario that I wanted to talk about. This is the exact scenario that I thought would be interesting to play out. Um, it is essentially people turning against Rudy Chan and he comments his own patrons uh, or his own subscribers now are mentioning my name, Umu. And I didn't think it would happen, but they have. And even the person who mentioned my name, they're supposedly me, my second account, even though I have multiple accounts anyway, and multiple channels. I have another channel, and it's called Lus, L-U-S, and we cover one guy in particular a lot. His name is Anthony Farrar, and there are shades of Rudy Chan in him. And I have for years and years and years been saying this guy is a Anthony, not Rudy. Anthony is a scammer. He's a fake. He's a fraud. And um, people on my channel, and I saw what happened, there were very little views. Uh, people disagree. Lots of negative views back then when we had the negative button. But I was right. I was right about everything to, and you can ask the people in that channel. Many of them, in fact, the Reddit hated me at the time. They really went after me. And now they are, I don't know, I would call them fans, but they're at least appreciative of my efforts. And you can go on the other channel. It's all real. Um, Anthony made a confession video to stealing five million. Or, okay, let me phrase this: uh, five million. He's five million dollars in debt. Um, he's stolen over forty different consignees. The way a consignee works is the same. It works in Magic or Pokemon, or in sports cards. The person gives the watch to that individual. That individual attempts to sell the watch, and then they keep a small fee. In this case, five percent. And they give all the the other 95% back to the original owner of the watch. Well, what if um, this Anthony individual, what if he does not give the money back? Well, it would be a scam. And he is currently in three different lawsuits. One by a very big watch company over defamation. A uh, very interesting case there that we cover in great detail. Uh, the other two by consignees. Uh, supposedly, there are many more consignees ready to sue exploring legal options and so on. And the same pattern of uh, emails I got up to the point where Anthony confessed to being a criminal is the same thing I see on Rudy's end. I'm going to be 100% blunt on you. There are people who have been ride or die Rudy fans and not everyone's like this guy who's still standing by Rudy. He's just happy he got like pennies, right? And uh, he shouldn't be that happy about that. Um, let, let me just put it this way. More people will watch my videos now and less people will watch Rudy's videos. I mean, simple as I can say that, um, in terms of numbers, right? I saw the same thing. I mean, Anthony has, he had more views than, uh, Rudy did at one time. And now he, he's basically confessed to being a criminal and now he doesn't make videos anymore. Now, am I saying, uh, Rudy is a criminal? No. Uh, but a lot of the same over-promised, under-deliver, this is an investment, hyped to the moon. People think this magic video is sad. Like, you have no idea how sad it is when you hear from a Meta Zoo investor. 
let me repeat this again. People think that this magic product is really sad, that this guy had to sell magic product that he bought for a lot of money and then sell it for 60%, they're saying 50% even. Let's take 50% as a low number. Guys, guys, do you know what the MetaZoo number is right now? Do you know? Would you be surprised if the number was zero? Would it shock you if the $500 Nightfall first edition booster box, there's no interest in it? So before you guys say this is the worst, it can't get worse, it can always get worse. And this is the same thing I can talk to Rudy right now. Uh, just like Rudy watches my videos, Anthony watches all my videos. And there's, you know, there's things that I pick up on his videos that are directed towards me. Just like Anthony directs things in his videos and his Instagram. In fact, Anthony had a list of top four haters. I was listed as number one. But I was right. Every criminal activity he did turned out to be correct. I had inside sources. I had even his older, his old employees contact me, talk for hours about what he was doing and whether or not like they would be in trouble. You have sources, right? Like, I will be quite frank with you. A lot of these emails I'm getting, and again, they don't want to be named. They don't want to upset the Rudy Meister, right? Um, and eventually, you know, when they do feel confident, you know, maybe, maybe we'll do like a chat with them. There are people out there who want to talk. Um, now, I can't spend all my time. This is a small channel making no money. Uh, it's different from my other channel, which does make money. My other channel does make <laughs> makes 20 times what this channel does. So I take it a little bit more seriously. And it is focused on legal and does help me get clients, right? And I'm not selling any magic. I've never sold any magic cards online to subscribers. There was once a Patreon where we did really, really good things, right? In terms of value for the Patreon. We always gave a lot of value. We never sold a MetaZoo for $500 a box, right? Um... Um, life sucks sometimes, but at the end of the day, um, you, you gotta be careful what you put your money into because it can go to zero. Like people, again, people think this is sad as F, right? They have no idea what MetaZoo is like right now. Um, it's bad. It's very, very bad. And I don't think it's ever going to get better for that game. Um, yeah, so it is what it is. Um, and I can tell you that these cards are probably not going to go up in price. And my, my comment on that is really because, you know, I'll, I'll give you an example. I know the people on my channel really don't want to hear about my girlfriend over and over again, but it is a big part of my life. And it's like 2 a.m. and we'll, she's still uh, battling in Pokemon Go, I assume. Um, so it is a big part of my life right now. Uh, it's a new part of my life, right? In terms of the commitment and the time we spend together and all that. Uh, her nephew is interested in Magic the Gathering. And my advice to him was don't collect the physical card games. Let me set you up with MTG Arena. You download the game and you do the tutorial and then I'll give you my uh, mega account. And I would not suggest you ever buy a card. So... What does that mean for this guy? What does that mean for Otto Rudy Patreon? That means I, somebody who is, who has hundreds of thousands, if not upwards of a million plus dollars in magic boxes, is telling my girlfriend's nephew not to buy a single magic card. Not a single card. Um, if you don't think that speaks volumes about where I think the game is right now, you would be clueless, right? I'm not the only one saying this. I'm not the only one. I'm the only one publicly saying this. But in private, a lot of people email me. They think Rudy screwed, screwed them. Uh, they think Rudy screwed them. The only people willing to go public are the people, ones who are still, you know, lemmings and like Timmy's for Rudy. I mean, they're, they're in this chat saying like, oh, I'm so glad Rudy helped me. And during this, and I get it. I get it. Don't burn bridges, right? But at the end of the day, Rudy is a very wealthy person. He's wealthier than I am, and he's wealthier than you are. And Hasbro is wealthier than he is. 
and we can just read these comments and it is sad as it is very very sad um what is happening but people think it's this is sad wait wait my dudes wait my dudes um like just wait because you haven't seen you haven't seen anything yet you haven't seen anything winter uh, i just made a few videos about this winter time is a terrible time to buy magic cards or sell magic cards it, it just um You know, I mean, I feel bad for him, but Rudy will have another video sometime in December. And at that point, the market will be at its low because it always is low in December. That's my point. My point is that you think the market is bad now. Historically, the market is worse in November because of travel and spending time with family, girlfriends, if you have one. I know many of you guys are upset. I have a girlfriend. You'd rather me be single, right, and spend money on magic boxes like Rudy. Um, create like a pyramid of boxes, I guess. Um, but that part of my life, this, I mean, I want to see it fall. That's why I'm here. Um, and I think just like I was right about Anthony, even though I, at that point I called Anthony a criminal and he is one, um, I will be right about this. This was a pump and dump. He pumped it up. I mean, again, you, you, you talk about 50%. I talk about Meta Zoo. Those boxes were five hundred dollars. Those boxes are selling on eBay for fifty, sixty dollars. After fees, you're probably down to forty, forty-five. They were being sold by Rudy to those people. Same people selling those boxes at fifty dollars for five hundred dollars. The same exact box has lost ninety, ninety percent of the money. So you think 50% is bad. And, and that's not even the Rudy price, right? Rudy doesn't even have a price for those boxes that he sold. You think nine, You think 50% is bad? Ask Rudy what he bought pays for MetaZoo. Ask him. You guys are Patreons, right? Ask him. Seriously, ask him what he pays. you be surprised. Or maybe you won't be surprised. But it would be a good question. Um, it would be a good question. This feels like an old Rudy video. Yeah. Crazy. Liquidation. The new era of tacos. Yummy. All this feels like it was 10 years ago. But it's not. Yikes, Rudy Chan. Yikes. Because I know, I know... I know things are going to a shitter right now.